Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how to use EST7735 based display with Raspberry Pi Pico. So let's get started. For this project, we will need breadboard, Raspberry Pi Pico board, ST7735 display. This is the 1.8 inch uh, ESP interface display. Again, we will need few jumper wires. This is the connection diagram of our project. You can find the link for connection in the description. Let's see the coding part now. This is the library file for ST7735. This library contains the initialization and basic functionality of ST7735 display drivers. If you see the library file, there is a function for init which initializes the parameters, pin modes and ESP interface. We will not go deep into the library file now. We will use this library in this project. As you can see in the example, here we are importing the libraries. Here we are initializing the SPA interface. Here we are initializing the TFT interface. And these are the functions for creating the lines. Again, this function is for uh, creating fast lines. Again, this one is for uh, creating rectangles. Again, this one is for filled rectangles. Likewise, circles, uh, again, triangles. And in the main function, we are calling each function one by one. Here we have second example as well. So here also we are importing the libraries. Here we are initializing the serial interface. Again, same here we are initializing the TFT interface. So here we are opening the image and here we are displaying the image. Again, this is the font file. We will need this font file to display the font on the display. So let's save the file on the Pico. Go to the file, save as, select the Raspberry Pi Pico and give appropriate name. Uh, so this is the library file. So we'll give the name as a st7735.py. Okay, and these are the just examples, so we can give any name to the example. So all these files are in the Pico now. So let's see the demo now. Now I will show you how to transfer the BMP images into the Pico board. First we will have to install MP tool developed by Adafruit. Then later give a command like mp hyphen hyphen port then port number for transferring the file use command as a put and then file name. This will take few seconds to transfer the file and will transfer all the files in the same way. So let's see the demo now.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज